Hi, hello, Hans, Paul, Akhir. I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to, good to have you on with us. Yes. Thank you for joining us today, by the way. Thank you. I hope oh, you're just joining us now. Me. I hope you weren't joining us 10 minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> you didn't listen to us. You no. didn't listen to us singing. Of course not. <laughs> So, yeah. Mas Indra, uh, probably before we, we uh, dive deeper into the topic uh, for this segment, we want to know, how did you uh, get yourself into music career? Oh, yes, I, I started very young. Uh, my parents used to, you know, push me onto the stage whenever there's an opportunity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> every family gathering, every, every event, they, they would... Uh, you know, shove me onto the stage, and uh, and also uh, when it was, I was in uh, 1999. Uh, I was learning to play the saxophone, right? And mm -hmm. back uh, at the time, there was very um, very few who played the saxophone, so it mm. was easy to get gigs. <laughs> that's that's how I started uh, professionally I in music. Okay. So, uh, Masindra, what is vocal training and what does it involve? What, what sort of uh, things do you teach? What sort of things do you practice? Ah, uh, yes. You know, to be a professional singer, you need talent. That, that is correct. But many people forget that singing is physical activity. And like any physical activity, it, it uses muscles in our body, right? Mm -hmm. So vocal training will include uh, breathing exercises to strengthen the foundation you know, uh, and vocalizing to train the uh, vocal agility. And of course, you will learn songs and improvisation to learn about creativity. So there are a lot of things going on, but you know, uh, uh, vocal training is very personal. So I always do it one-on-one -on -one because every person is different and they have different, um, at different stages and different mm. challenges. So, mm. you know, uh, maybe Paul needs more of a, um, a pitch training, <laughs> maybe Hans need more, you know, expression, or maybe Akhir need more uh, dynamics. So every, every person is different. Okay. So if, uh, you, we mentioned earlier, Hans mentioned uh, that, you know, you're a coach for some of the most famous names, singers yeah. Yo, out of man. Indonesia. So the, name them. It, so I guess vocal training, is it only for beginners or, or do professionals need it too? What, at what point in your singing career do you, do you get vocal training? Ah, yes, very, very good question. I, I really need to uh, answer this. So um, when, when you are a professional, that, that means you sing every day, right? Mm, okay. You sing five to 10 songs and if you, not, not just singers, if you teach, if, you, uh, if you're a radio announcer, you know, if you're a mm. presenter, you speak daily, right? Yep. That means you need to train your voice because I categorize those people as vocal athletes. They're not just, you know, vocal not athletes. singing casually. But vocal athletes. Yes. It's interesting so that you put it that athletes. way. Yes, yes. And like every athlete, you need to train professionally uh, to avoid injury, right? Right. To uh, strengthen your muscles, you know, agility and all that. Right, mm. so um, uh, Masindra, uh, so that's why I now realize that Hans always do the humming things, activities <laughs> yes. before uh, we do the on air during three hours, you know, as uh, the name of the show is three hour new show. So three hours of speaking <laughs> for us. So yep. uh, what do you think? Yep. Uh, it, is, uh, it is important to learn uh, do and do vocal training uh, for us, even if uh, we are, for oh, example, yeah. imagine, a new singer. Imagine going to work and you realize your voice is gone, completely gone, because mm. that things that that sort of thing happens, you know. That it's happened to me a real. week ago. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. I was I was so, doing the show yes. on top of my lungs. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that is exactly why you need a vocal training. At least you know you at least know some uh, vocal exercises, some breathing exercises. It will help you so much in your work as a uh, you know, presenter, radio announcer, singer, teacher, and everyone who you know, uses their voice regularly. Now, um, I was actually saying in the previous segment that actually vocal training or vocal coaching is also important for people in a you know, public speaking, public speaking. Uh, spectrum. Sure. But not only that, in a professional world also when you do some presentations, some yep. meetings and things like that, apparently, uh, as I've read, you need that vocal coaching because you need that certain notes on a on a different um, mode of public speaking. Right. Let's say you need a commanding uh, voice tone or something like that. Now, can you can you please elaborate more on this, Mas Indra? 
the importance of it? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 definitely. You know, we communicate using our voice. Mothers communicate with their babies using their voice. So, you know, the, the way we communicate can make a huge difference. Now, uh, before we go into technicality, one of the uh, things that we train uh, my students, you know, is to perform in front of people to build confidence. Uh, so performer and leader mentality. And uh, that in itself can improve your public speaking skills. Now, when you talk about like commanding with the voice, you know, uh, there was one book that I really like. It's from uh, Barbara McPhee, who states that there are uh, five vocal modes in, in your voice. Uh, when you communicate, there's the earth. So earth is more like this, where you oh, need to, uh, you know, authority, right? Yeah. And then yeah. there's yeah. the, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's the fire where you need to get up, stand up, you know, uh, things mm. like that. More like demonstrators, the, the water, voice. the metal voice. <laughs> so, you know, uh, how we utilize uh, those different elements in our voice is very important in communicating our message, you know, whether it be in public speaking or in teaching or whatever. Now, uh, Masindra, you mentioned earlier that vocal training is important uh, in order to reduce the risk of injury. What sort of injuries can we suffer? I mean, Hans mentioned that he lost his voice before. Yeah. What is that because of? Is that because we're overusing it? Or are we not using our voice properly? Are we using the wrong technique? What are some of the injuries and what are some of the causes? Yes, so there are two main uh, causes for vocal injury. First is vocal overuse. Okay. And uh, the second one is vocal misuse, okay. right? So Over. overuse is, is if uh, even if you're using the correct vocal technique, correct breathing, but if you overuse it, you know, like uh, during this three-hour show without taking any breaks, without uh, drinking any water, mm -hmm. you are overusing your voice. Uh, so you need to take vocal rest at least one or two days. Mm -hmm. And misusing is like in singing, you can sing like if, if a song is too high for you, but you force your voice like using a loud voice, using more power to force your voice into the high note. That will that will certainly cause you injury, especially if you do it on a regular basis. Um, and some of the injuries, I think more, most of the more common injuries are uh, vocal nodules. Nodules is like so. This is our vocal uh, yeah. folds, right? Yeah. yeah. Nodules is when there's like. Um, like a, what you, a pimple, pimple yes, yes. that that uh, prevents your vocal cords from touching each other, oh. and you will produce this breathy sound like oh. this, you know, because your vocal folds cannot touch each other. To produce a clear voice, your vocal folds need to touch each other, and uh, this is one of the example, the most common example for vocal uh, injury. Okay. Interesting. Oh, interesting. It's new things for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Indra, please give us give us more tips how to avoid the overuse and misuse of voice in any kind of situation, singing yes. or even uh, doing this uh, as a news anchor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh, before we, uh, you know, go deep into the vocal technique breathing, there are things that you can do to instantly improve uh, your vocal health. Um, and that is, uh, the first one is, please have enough rest. Ah, I cannot yes. uh, stress this enough. No, that explains Drink why water, I lost my voice. And... <laughs> yeah, and you, you need to listen to your body, ah. right? After do doing this three-hour show, you have to listen to your body and feel like, okay, if your voice is uh, fatigue, if you feel fatigue in any way, you know, you have vocal rest. Don't speak, don't speak, don't sing, and most of all, do not whisper. Whisper is bad really? for your voice. Yes. Why is that? That's what I heard. Yes. I thought whispering doesn't use a yeah, voice because, at all. I know, but wh whispering is unnatural to the voice. Oh. It's just like, it's like um, drinking, but using your voice, your, your, your hand like this, you know, it's unnatural oh. for you. Unnatural. So whenever oh. you're doing something that's unnatural, mm -hmm. you will hurt yourself. So no whispering. Okay, by the way, I, I did this before. I, like, I used, I've worked a, a, a few big, I've emceed big events for like hours and hours at a time. And then I lost my voice oh, yeah, at, yeah, the, at the end of the night, right? Yes, yes I'm sure you are. Yeah. But then at the end of the night, people were still trying to talk to me. So I would whisper because I had no voice left. So that was actually making it worse. <laughs> yeah, that made it worse. Yes, oh my goodness. do not do that. Do okay, not do that. Yeah. all right, noted. Because if I'm, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Masindra, because when you whisper, you're, um, you know, that, that two focal lid, yes. 
well, would not touch each other and that makes it uh, work harder. Oh, okay. So it's better for you to speak in your, you know, usual... Even though uh, your voice is raspy. Exactly. Usual yeah, usual volume. volume. Yes. Right. Wow, I'm so smart yes, in that 100%. sense. Right. <laughs> but, all right, Masindra, so take us through it. Now, uh, we're, let's say that we, we've just uh, hired you on. Uh, we need to save up some money because I'm sure it's quite expensive. Yes, but we're, it's expensive. We just company. hired you on as our vocal coach. What are some of the things that we need to prepare before we start vocal training? For example, do we need to know how to read music notes beforehand? Or what are some of the requirements before we start vocal training, the basic requirements? Yeah, the basic requirement is you need to be fit, you need to be healthy first. Because if, 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 if you're not healthy, if, if your voice is uh, raspy, you know, don't do vocal any vocal exercise, okay. just mm. rest. Right. So that's the first thing. Because I, I, I truly believe that uh, our vocal health is holistic, mm. meaning if you're not healthy in any way, then your voice will not be 100%. Got it. So I think that's the most important thing, you know, have some rest, drink water, things like that. All right, and that's it? Like no other pre-requirements, pre we're ready to go? Mm, yes, you are oh. ready to go. So since we are healthy, we're all healthy at the moment, can you please show and teach us some focal training, please? <laughs> yes, 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 all right. So I think um, I'm going to show you, let's see, uh, the first one, uh, should be breathing, right? Breathing, so right. first, you need good posture. Well, uh, you are already, you all of you already have good posture, so that's good, right. right? Okay. So the first exercise, I call this panting. Panting. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it's very, very simple, very simple. But it's really good for our diaphragm, and diaphragm is the source of everything. Your speaking, your singing, it's, it all comes from the diaphragm, right? Okay. So the, the the exercise is very simple. It goes like this. <laughs> okay, it's hard for me to do it with my mask. <laughs> Put my mask on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like I feel like I feel like my 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 uh, chest right below my chest. It keeps going in and out, in and out like that. So yes, that's how you that do is it. Diaphragm. Okay, that's diaphragm. Yeah. Okay. So diaphragm. What, yes. What should happen with our diaphragm when we uh, we are doing that this thing? Right. So our, our diaphragm is what controls our breathing, okay? Mm. Everything uh, we do uh, with our breathing, everything is controlled by the diaphragm. So by, by doing this, yeah. we are, we are um, uh, exercising the diaphragm to make it stronger, you know, more agile, mm. and you know, more uh, ready on command, whatever we want to do, the oh. diaphragm to do, you know, it can do it because of that exercise, one of them, one of them. Okay, right. right. Panting. Will, will it give yeah. me a six pack? Okay. <laughs> I would do it every day. I would do it every day if it does. I can feel it. I can feel I have it. One pack, you know. <laughs> so how, so it don't work for me. Actually, uh, how many minutes uh, for? Yeah. Should uh, you do the panting? Yeah, should you do the, do the panting? Um, yeah, I think um, I always tell my students to do it like three sets. So one set is is like uh, eight counts. Okay. Okay. So three sets of eight counts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three sets of eight counts. <laughs> yeah. And then how long? You break for a little bit? And then uh, another eight, uh -huh. and then break, yep. and another eight. Yes. Okay. Yes. So just just like going to the gym, because again, this is a physical activity. Okay. Right? Basic argument. Right. But vocal for the artist. voice. Yeah. Yes, vocal athlete. Nice. And um, the next, the next uh, vocal exercise that I'm going to uh, show you is one of the most popular vocal exercises of all time. Very simple, but yet very effective. This is called humming. So you close your lips, okay. and then you just just hum. Mm. Yes, it will train uh, your uh, brain to put Not yoga. your voice that, that, that in front of humming your face. Yoga, Paul. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it will train your resonance. Uh, you resonance. will be more aware of where you put your voice, and um, yeah, it's really good. So let's let's do this simple exercise. This is a sliding humming, so okay. it goes sliding. like this. Right. Mm. Mm. Okay. Try that. Mm. Very good. Now we're going to try a whole uh, major scale, like. Mm. Please try that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
yes, excellent, excellent. I'm not sure excellent. if it, that was hey, the right. You know what? The four of us can do a barbershop quartet. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. What's next? One, one last exercise, I think. One last exercise. This is, I mean, Celine Dion uh, does it. Uh, Ariana Grande. You, you name all famous singers. They all do this one exercise. It's called the lip trill. Ooh. Uh, okay. So lip trill is like this. Ooh. You did it, Oh, my, my two-year-old yeah. son loves to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He might be a singer one yeah. day. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what we call blowing raspberry in baby turn. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. You have to hold your so cheeks. So usually... Yep, apparently. Yes, because uh, you want your facial muscles to relax oh, at all times. Oh, I see. Because right, because this is this is helping me relax the the muscles around here. Yeah. So let's let's use arpeggio for this. So it goes like this. Please try that. Excellent! Excellent! Wow! Very good. You know what? I would love to see Ariana Grande go. <laughs> I would pay. I would pay yeah, to see yeah, Ariana yeah, yeah. doing that kind of thing. That is amazing. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I mean, face duckling. Uh, and, and by the way, for our viewers out there who may not know, Mas Indra is also quite adept at beatboxing. Oh, that I like, can vouch so, for that. So, by the way, can I you, can vouch for Could you that. give us a little, uh, perhaps a little performance, just a little one, just a little snippet? All right, all right, all right. Every 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 three hour show. Yeah, Hans, Paul, I hear yo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man, it's been a long time. It's wow. Been a long you can do the collaboration with Indra. <laughs> yeah. You can do the Indra Aze. You know, it's not fair for somebody to have that much talent, but I'm glad that you're able to share your talent with all your students and all of us out here as well so we can be better at what we do. Thank you. Indra so much, Aziz, thank you so much for thank being so much. here. And also, thank you so much thank for your you so knowledge. Much. Great catching up with you again. Take care, Masinda. Stay thank safe you. and healthy. Stay thank safe. You. Take, Take care. care.